workers. In, organi in organizing the church school, I can still hardly be considered a Christian education person. And yet, as a parish priest, it is my very calling to teach. Now, Christian education, in my opinion, means that Christ is central to education. At, and what I mean by this is the following. Our faith and our church, and I mean Orthodox Christian church, is not based on a set of rules and regulations, canons or anything else in that matter, but that our teaching and our entire being and existence is based on a person. And that person is Jesus Christ and him crucified and resurrected. Consequently, our ed uh, educational theory, methods and practice must be built upon Christ crucified and resurrected as their cornerstone. But how can we know Christ? Indeed, there is no other way for us to know Christ than through the liturgy and scripture. <clears throat> Without liturgy, there is no Christ, period. And without scripture, there is no word of God, period. Now, I know that some of you may disagree with me, but the good, the good part of 15 minutes of presentation is that there is no disagreement. So <laughs> thank you, Father. <laughs> and I'm sure that there will be more opportunities to, to discuss certain, certain issues that may arise. But in any case, everything that we do and see in the liturgy is nothing less but the ultimate expression of God's love for his people. Through the liturgy, those sinners, we are given to receive the body and blood of Christ himself. But also, it is the ultimate expression of love of the saints toward God. For the liturgy also is the thanksgiving to God. And that love, love of the saints, which we are trying to imitate, or more accurately, to experience and live through every time we come to church to receive communion. In the liturgy, the faithful not only get to experience certain moments of Jesus' life, but they also get to receive the body and blood of Christ God himself. And that is, the faithful are offered the real, even physical communion with God himself, <clears throat> which will be the ultimate goal of every living true Christian. Now, the liturgy, <clears throat> or the Eucharist, the Greek word that we use, is given to the church out of God's love for his church. But also, the liturgy is the ultimate expression of church's love for God as well. Now, having said that, and Orthodox Church is unique in this sense, I'm firmly convinced that the church is based on scripture. And yet, scripture is defined by the church. It is impossible to imagine the church without the divine liturgy and scripture without the church. In other words, with the Orthodox Church, we are on the solid ground because the divine liturgy, being the expression of the whole being and the very existence of the church, is based on scripture. But also, scripture is being defined by the living church. That is to say, its canon is shaped by the very life of the one true Catholic and apostolic church whose ultimate expression, again, is the divine liturgy. And as a footnote, I would add, this is why the canon of the scriptures, as we know it today, was shaped over the centuries. Now, we have seen that the liturgy and scripture are inseparable. But what do we learn from both our liturgy and scripture in order to be able to teach? What is our role in education according to the liturgy and scripture? The answer is simple. 
it is to teach, to spread the word, but also to become ourselves that very word. Bible tells parents that they have a moral responsibility before God to bring up their children in the discipline and the instruction of the Lord. And we find that in Ephesians 6.4. And just as the caring Christian parents must bring up their children with full responsibility, being the example to them and living that same example for them. So also the teachers must labor to nurture, instruct, and discipline students. And the central task of both parents and teachers is to make this disciples of Christ. In scripture, Christ commanded to his disciples, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father.